hope you're well with Bernard here with the film and TV channel and today we have a movie review and it's the seventh in a series so this is number seven yes it's uh, Tremors 7 better known as now Tremors Shrieker Island please if you're new to the channel please push that subscribe button push the bell notification so when you know when these vlogs are coming out make sure your notifications are set to public otherwise you won't get to hear about them a lot of people are set to private and please, if, uh, we're trying to get between 10 and 15 thumbs ups at the moment. So if you can do us a thumbs up, that would be absolutely fantastic. It's nice to have comments, it's nice to have views, but just please, any thumb if you don't want to leave a comment or a, or whatever, please, thumbs ups are always great. Much appreciated. Right, Tremors Shrieker Island, uh, also known as Tremors 7 and formerly Tremors Island Fury. So it has a... Obviously, if Tremors 7 was never a goer, was it? But Tremors Island Fury was its, its initial name. But now we've got Shrieker Island. I mean, obviously, we have Shrieks and this and Shriekers. 103 minutes, uh, quite long. Director video monster film. This is it straight to, I think it's um, straight to the video on the 20th of October. But um, actual DVD to, to own, to buy here in the UK and online is around November the 16th, 9.99 on DVD, 14.99 on Blu-ray. Right, what's it about? Well, the Graboids, the Graboids, I think I've sort of uh, stopped watching this uh, franchise, I think, by the time the Graboids they became the heroes or the, the, the anti-heroes, if you like. Uh, they are illegally taken to a new island resort by a rich playboy as a dangerous form of trophy hunting. And Bert Gummer steps up to save the day, good old Bert Gummer. Directed by Don Michael Paul, written by Brian Brightley and Don Michael Paul, and stars Jackie Cruz, Richard Brake, John Hedder, and of course Michael Gross in the role of, uh, what's his name, Burt Gummer. That's it. It says, is that memorable? I forgot. Internet Movie Database score on this one? Well, only 74 scores been left so far, but it's doing okay. It's got 5.8 out of 10. It's not a total disaster. There's nothing on Rotten Tomatoes. There's nothing on Metacritics or anything like that. I was just having a look back at um, Tremors 1 to 6, and Tremors 1 got 7.1 out of 10, 2 got 6 out of 10, 3 got 5.3 out of 10, 4 got 5.3 out of 10, 5 got 5.3 out of 10, and Tremors 6 got 5 out of 10. So it is sort of downwards isn't it is downwards but obviously the 5.8 is booking that trend i mean uh, so perhaps it's on the way up but there you go i mean 1990 the original and and i think what i liked about the original was uh, there was the humor in it as well it was it was tongue in cheek and uh, in 1990 that sort of worked pretty well and personally, I, th I think I just mentioned then, I did stop watching the franchise. I pretty much gave up by Tremors 3, to be honest with you. But, uh, of course, this thing has its loyal fans. No matter what you say, you're going to have your loyal fans. These things become a cult, don't they? Uh, but I'm sadly not one of its loyal fans. But I was, I was worth, worthy to give number 7 a look anyway and, and just see. I mean, the last one. I did remember watching was number four, so I thought obviously I'd le at least approach number seven with an open mind because we're a few years on out, but even from number four, never mind the very first one. I do like a good monster movie, and there was certainly a hint at times in this with some scenes of, of Jurassic Park. Obviously, if you look at that, that uh, synopsis, a little hint of Jurassic Park in there. And certain scenes were remiss reminiscent of scenes taken from the Jurassic, Jurassic Park franchise. One of one of you know one of any of the films, to be honest with you. I'm not sure the budget run to masses of amounts because the CGI of the creatures uh, large and a bit smaller. wasn't There wasn't much of it. It, it was probably a four or five minutes. So probably not that much of uh, CGI of the creatures in this, to be honest with you. Uh, I think I'm being generous saying there's four or five minutes. It might even be even less. So. Obviously, any budget they did have, uh, it certainly wasn't on creating the monsters and, you know, attacking the humans, etc. And the humans running away. There was a lot of humans being dragged away, but you didn't see how they got dragged away. Uh, what the film, this film does lack again, which is why I sort of fell out with it, really, is any sort of humour. And to me, anyway, I mean, obviously, as I say, I'm not a fan, but to me, there's... Uh, I don't really care about the characters. I, could, I don't really care less. So uh, it, it doesn't really bother me whether they get dragged off and slaughtered or not, to be honest with you. Um, 
So please, I mean, you're going to have something silly like this, which it is. At least, at least make it fun. I mean, there's a lot of verbal. There's a lot of verbal goes on in it, but it's just... Not, you know, the verbal was funny, fair enough, but it's just verbal for the sake of verbal to fill screen time. I mean, as I said, it's it's not a short film. It's over an hour and 40 minutes, and it's just too much of it. And there's a bit... bit it just got, it gets a bit boring to me and with the odd, unexciting sort of action scene, which uh, was a lot of running about, as I said, but because there's very little CGI, it's not overly impressive. Uh, the acting itself is okay. The actors aren't that bad, and the scenery is okay. Obviously, it's set on a on, a, on an island, uh, and I'm sure Tremors diehard fans will enjoy it. But uh, for the rest of us, I think I think it's it may just be worthwhile digging out any any of the Jurassic Parks. To be honest, with either the good ones and the bad ones, or even even a couple of the Godzillas, which haven't been great. I mean, dig dig though. I did did like the original Godzilla uh, back in the day, but uh, not not the Japanese one. The the first one Hollywood did, but uh, yeah, dig them out. I mean, rather than watch this Tremor Seven, but. Hey, there you go. I mean, obviously, that score at the moment, reading, is it 5.8 5 out of 10? I forgot what it was. What I said. Yeah, 5.8 out of 10. That actually increased from about 5.5 the other day. So that's gone up a little bit. I'd imagine it'll even back down to anywhere between 5 and 5.5 because of the, the loyal fan base, obviously, for Tremors. But uh, it's been well hyped, this, and well talked about. But to me, it was very, very disappointing. So my rating, Burner's rating, MGN rating, I'm only going to give it uh, 4 out of 10. I'm, I don't know, I'm not even sure what I'll give it the 4 out of 10 for, to be honest with you, apart from, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I've been kind there, I think, with 4 out of 10. I'm, trying to, I'm struggling to find out what I did give it the 4 for, but I didn't want to give it too little, because I knew it would appeal, it appeals to some people, but it wasn't my cup of tea, unfortunately. I, did, I wanted more humour in it. Look, if, if, you know, if you're not gonna get great CGI CGI action then please let's have some let's have some humor and less less of the verbal diarrhea which just just doesn't add in the characters by the end of it even the hero even the hero Bert I couldn't care less whether he lived or died to be honest with you and that's not that's really not how it should be is it in this sort of film the poster yeah, it's okay. I mean, I've got a couple of posters in the back there. From I've certainly got Tremors 4 poster in the back, and uh, far better than this one. Now, I'm going to give the poster 5.5, so not a great score, but a little bit a little bit better than the film, obviously. So, obviously, today, the film gets 4 out of 10, and the poster gets 5.5 uh, out of 10. And obviously, if you like the Graboids, I mean, you're going to probably like the poster, but, again, it's just, it's just a bit of a, a bit of a washout to me. Anyway, thanks so much. Let me know in the comments what you think. And if you're a keen Tremors fan there, I mean, as I say, it will, I'm sure it'll appeal to those uh, as a cult movie to the to people who do like Tremors. But I, I just want a little bit more in my sci-fi monster creature features. That's uh, that's all. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please check my links on screen. Uh, if you thought, follow or friend me on Facebook and Twitter, I do check every couple of days and follow and friend everyone back. And... If you can check out my website, moviegamenostalgia.com, for old rare DVDs, movie posters from the 1990s and 2000s, and some board games on there as well. That would be absolutely fantastic. And please just check the playlists. And if you're interested in football, and particularly Manchester City, I do Manchester City history vlogs and Manchester City present vlogs. So please, if you're interested or you know someone who may be interested in that, please uh, point them in my direction. Much appreciated. Anyway, thanks for watching. What are you going to do with the rest of the day? Have a great one. Look after yourselves, look after your friends, look after your family. More importantly, let's all look after each other. And until we meet again, please stay safe, everyone. It's Bernard saying goodbye for now.